Hi, I'm Dr. Ryan Cole. I'm a board certified anatomic and clinical pathologist, fellowship trained in surgical and dermatopathology, trained at the Mayo Clinic. And I'm here today to discuss what you already know is happening, a pandemic, a, a virus that's covering the earth. This is uh, the SARS-CoV-2 virus, COVID-19. This is just a very simple chalk talk. I'm hoping to keep it you know, focus so you can understand why we're testing, how we're testing, and what kind of testing we need to be doing and why it's important. Um, as you know, people have been lining up and clamoring to try to get the PCR test, the swab up the nose, that um, is very difficult to get right now. Uh, we have supply chain problems around the world in terms of testing. We're working on that. The important thing is when you get the virus, you may incubate the virus for about zero to five or seven days before you get symptoms. Those symptoms will generally appear in that window. You may have a fever, a cough, a runny nose and a headache, diarrhea. There's so many different symptoms that have been going with this virus. The interesting thing is if you go in and get your nose swabbed, and this is uh, studies from multiple universities, if you go and get your nose swabbed in that first early window, about 70% of the PCR will be positive. However, you may get a swab 25-30% uh, of the time in that first window where the swab's negative. So PCR is an excellent test if virus is there. It depends on how much load of virus you've inhaled and is brewing within your, your sinuses. After that period of time, there's a window of time in which PCR will detect that virus where they've been swabbing everybody. And that goes up to about 10 days and starts to drop off. So you may have symptoms for about a week and go into your doctor and your doctor may say, well, we swabbed you at day 12, 14. They don't know what day you're at, but your symptoms are, are you know, seven days or so out and they may miss the virus in the nose because it's no longer there. It's moved down to your throat, down to your lungs, into your body, but it's not detectable in this location. Now, this is why it becomes important that we look at the patient's blood. In the blood, there are antibodies. Your body does an immune reaction and you have these little soldiers that your cells produce called antibodies and they grab onto the virus and help your body clear the virus out. Those antibodies, your acute antibody is IgM and, and it's not virus, it's an antibody, something your body makes against the virus. That starts to appear the same day your symptoms appear as well. So if you're lucky and we catch the virus in your nose in that first window by the PCR test, great. However, if the PCR test misses it, we can look at the blood and see if you're responding to this virus. That acute antibody, the IgM, starts to ramp up and we can detect that through certain tests in the laboratory. After a certain couple of days, um, your body starts to produce a memory antibody. So we can track your antibodies through this phase up to when you have a memory antibody, IgG only. That's your memory antibody. The important thing is half of patients who get the virus never have symptoms. So here in Idaho, so far in our antibody testing, we've shown that one out of 20 people are carrying this virus, 5% of our population. Half of those individuals don't know this. And as you've heard in the news, this virus is very infectious and very transmittable to others. Those patients who never show a symptom at all are spreading the virus. However, we can detect that virus reaction, not the virus, the reaction to the virus through the antibodies in the blood. And it's important because when the PCR goes negative, and you go into your doctor and told you're ne negative, we can still check your blood and find that even though the PCR was negative, your blood is reacting in a positive manner. So this window becomes very important for detecting acute disease. So antibody testing is actually helpful in acute, in acute disease testing. Unfortunately, we're testing only the acute and sick patients and we don't know how many people are actually carrying it. We're trying to do that differently here. We're doing both. We're doing the PCR testing and we're doing the antibody testing and we're working to crush this curve of this virus. We need to know who has it. We need to know where and what stage it is in its development in our population and within individuals. And so we can see how many people have it, who's developed immunity, who's ready to go back to work and who's an asymptomatic carrier of this virus. Now this is important because you may have symptoms or no symptoms, but these asymptomatic patients 
if we don't isolate them, can be spreading virus. If we check their blood and they're having a reaction to the virus, now we know to isolate those individuals as well. Also, we can get all these individuals towards treatment as necessary. The virus stays in the body. On average, you shed the virus for about 21 days beyond symptoms, according to world statistics. And in the feces, uh, we found that individuals are shedding the virus for up to 11 and a half days on average beyond their last symptom. So even though we think, oh, the PCR is negative here in the nose or in the mouth, it may still be in the lungs and it definitely may be present in the feces. So really the only way we track these individuals is checking the blood for the antibodies that have developed. And this is very important for getting a hold of this virus as a population and treating individuals. So hopefully those who don't understand this process and the overlap between the modalities of testing and the usefulness of each can grab onto this concept that there's a window where PCR is relevant and helpful and there's a window where it becomes less relevant and less helpful. And there's a very important overlap here where antibodies can be and are a diagnostic test for our population. So wash your hands, wear a mask, um, keep your physical distance, and let's keep each other safe and let's get through this and get our nation rolling again. Thank you, everybody.